Are birds real? Ponder on that question for a moment and then ask yourself just exactly why you clicked on this video. That's quite the outlandish remark, right? Are birds real? Let it sink in. Of course birds are real. They're flying high above our heads, perched on telephone lines and electrical wires across city skylines. Pigeons flock together in hordes. Eagles soar majestically across Grand Canyon. Small sparrows build their nests just before winter and cuckoos continue to be, well, cuckoos are sociopaths. We all know that. You see, of course birds are real, but can we ever be sure about anything? Because in a time where up is down and left is right, it's pretty difficult to see the birds for the trees. So let's take a look. Hello internet, what's going on? And once again, welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. As per usual, I'll be your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch, as today we curiously ask the question, are birds real? Yeah, we're, we're really asking this question. <laughs> Hold on, there's, there is more to it, don't worry, just, just roll the clip. And yes, of course, for the curious amongst you, that scene was from Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 avian-based disaster thriller, The Birds. And yes, in that particular scenario, the feathered demons in question are very much real. Too real, in fact. But that's not the point, is it? You may have gotten this far and thought, oh, geez, he's actually doing a video on whether birds are real or not. Well, this should be a horror show and an entertaining few minutes before it all crashes and burns. Let me get some popcorn. But of course, there is much more to this statement than first meets the eye, just as the residents of Memphis, Tennessee found out in the late autumn of last year, when several posters mysteriously began cropping up across the city, plain white in bold black, heavy equipment font with a statement that read, birds aren't real. Again, that's quite a claim, right? But soon enough, posters in the same sleepy Memphis neighborhoods soon turned into massive billboards with the exact same outlandish claim. And then it wasn't just Memphis, but Chicago, and then over 50 cities across the United States, all with the same bold lettering. Birds work for the bourgeoisie aren't real. Wake up. And then Instagram accounts began to emerge, all beneath the same banner, birds aren't real. Albuquerque, Charleston, Seattle, hell, there was even one in Sydney, Australia, detailing the exact same posters, the same outlandish claims of birds not being real, and then of course, that was all it took. The curious were then hooked, the trap was baited. After a bit of digging, this mantra of a slogan soon led the intrigue to a website, echoing the chambered claim that birds aren't real. And then in a sleek black and white Shopify design was a 5,000 word supporting document, the history behind the movement, explaining just exactly why birds aren't real. In a more condensed manner, it detailed that in 2001, the US government completed the eradication of all birds, every single feathered creature across the continent, which it had then replaced with surveillance drones. In it, the movement's creator, who we'll get onto in a moment, claimed that after the CIA was founded in 1947, the higher-ups were so annoyed that birds had been dropping fecal matter on their car windows for so long that they vowed to wipe out every single flying feathered creature in North America and then replace them with autonomous robots starting from 1959 and eventually ending in 2001. All of the birds died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies. The website claims that any bird you see flying across the US borders to either Mexico or Canada are simply tracking an American citizen who has traveled outside of the United States. Hmm, that's pretty convenient, right? But hey, what about, well, you know that wall everyone's been talking about? Well, yeah, that wall is in fact a structure to be encapsulated with thousands of microwave guns that can track any bird entering the United States, shoot it with harsh microwaves, which then in turn destroys the bird's ability to fly, leaving it deceased in under a few hours and, well, we'll stop there because if you can already guess, the extravagance of this tall tale is exactly that a tall tale, one that is admittedly written with tongue firmly in cheek, but also one that hits on some impeccable and relevant points. We live in the age of tall tales, it's the reason you're clicking on this video. The term post-truth is often so freely banded about, but the truth of it, for lack of a better term, is that trying to figure out just exactly what's real and what's false 
can be a very difficult task in today's climate. On Twitter, bots are humans and humans are bots sometimes, depending if it's a performance piece or not. The absurd lurks around every corner, assaulting our eyeballs in the digital landscape. Unverified sources, this video included, of people framing tall tales in ways that sometimes we can only feel compelled to trust. Sometimes the art of it is in the disinformation and sometimes disinformation is art. You see, birds are real, and the Birds Aren't Real movement was created by an individual named Peter Mackinder, who several years ago created the first Birds Aren't Real Instagram post. In November of 2017, he posted to Facebook, I made a satirical movement a few months ago, and people on Instagram seem to like it a lot. And that was it, really. But that's before he really had to hammer in on the joke and double down on his ingenuity of satire. That was before he had to commit entirely to the Birds Aren't Real movement, when the actual nature of its design was fully realised, because then the internet picked it up. And like all of the best memes, the joke just wasn't funny anymore because it was true and people believed it. Well, only partially. They still gave a nudge nudge, wink wink, I get it, don't worry, which in turn was the point of it. But hey, the internet is a strange place and we'll never really understand its moving parts. But the point is, it spread like wildfire. PewDiePie's meme review picked it up and suddenly, as is the nature of the internet, the Birds Aren't Real website was the next biggest thing. And that's exactly the reason that this very video is again popping up on your timeline. Because as trends and retrends roll and crash like the endless waves of the ocean, the next biggest thing is merely the mechanics of an algorithm. And interestingly enough, the Birds Aren't Real movement served to highlight that. That with the right framing, people will believe absolutely anything. And guess what? Not only will they believe it, they'll also buy your merch because the movement's creator, Peter Mckindo, sells some pretty dope t-shirts on his website, if I may say so myself. Why? Well, to inform the masses, of course. Why else? Also, if you're still not sure, yes, birds are real and birds are awesome. That's all there is to it, really, but question everything. That's the point. Well, there we have it. Our long and short answer to the question, are birds real? Yes. Yes, they are. Just ask me, Jack Finch. I'm literally surnamed after a bird. What do you guys think? Do you agree, disagree, have any more to add to this particular question? Then let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as well as any intriguing insights of your own. Before we depart from today's video, though, let's first take a quick look at some of your more creative comments over the past few days. First up, Leo Stack says, no. <sighs> Sheesh. All right, Leo. Calm down a bit, pal. Next up, Master of the Universe says, everything small is just a small version of everything big, and vice versa. <sighs> Whoa. What, dude? Well, my mind is well and truly deconstructed. Thank you for that. I'm gonna go lie down now. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Cheers for sticking around all the way until the end. If you were a fan of this video or just like speaking questions in particular, then please be a dear and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe button. I'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch. You've been watching life's biggest questions, and until next time, you take it easy. All of the birds died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies that are now watching us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie.